Yeah. Two of these Hellbear Smashes are gonna be by his side. And they actually wanna take the steel one on both of them, it seems. I'm moving on a Gabby here. They do stomp down, but it's, this is, I think the biggest worry is in this lane, it's a battle of attrition, and you, you're, you're two PP heroes against the beautiful heart stop aura from Gabby. They might try now that Penitence needs to take a lot of damage here. The Ghost Trap comes out. There's a stop, the double edge. He gets the first blood. The Crep Fine Up does nothing to stop Mumiana from slaying his opponent in lane. Uh, this is this is basically definitely a pre-planned move. Especially for supports. Like we've had we've had this discussion before. And I think we're of the same mind that that when it comes to supports, one of the first things you check is, well, you check for a dive. Four people in the bot lane, the stun's coming out. The Luna get on Gabby quick enough, he's still alive. They're gonna heal up, Cuckoo in the corner. This side comes down, first of all, it's one, four, three, seven. And now the Impale is a double. It's gonna catch on the mob when TA turning up. They say, if you're gonna bring a party, we're gonna bring everyone, even if they're not invited. And TNC counter the dive. That, that's a nice kill, though. Speaking of those mistakes, being so aggressive on the bottom lane really wasn't that necessary. And Armel? They're gonna get good. They're gonna go for Armel here. Yeah, Penitent to slow him down, plus a reflection. Sentry put down to make sure he can't melt to hide out here. But he already knows what's up. We get the refraction and we'll go for the TP out. Ice path. Ice path. Nice clip and 1437. Getting across just in time. And Armel now stuck here. Done to right though. The damage. He might get him in the It doesn't matter. He gets himself a double kill. Armel! What is this damage? He's still alive. He might go for the triple. 1437. One more tap will do it. Refraction coming up. Cooldown. He's got a triple kill. A triple, baby. He might go for one hit kid. He's got scissors here. Tim's with the impale. No man on Dragonite. He's going to get the old. No. Tim steals it away. But GG gets called. TNC, they've given up. Oh, sorry, Tigers are giving up. Too, too much TNC from old, right? I mean, nope. Instead, they're going to take this. I, I believe it's going to be the tier 3 and then they fall back. And this is important here as well. This is the power of the TAs, all these traps. Mm -hmm. It creates this buffer zone that you can't fight into. Good luck putting down a sentry and get rid of them quick enough. And there's a jump forward. Ice path coming up, trying to move on Ninja Boogie. No, move me under this image just a quick. And they already lost the chain. The buyback's gonna come out from the bugger. They are just getting stunned up. The side's gonna be there. Moon is gone. And she, that's a die back. He can't get back in the fight anymore. And now, in your dream on the side, what is his solution here? The Elder Dragon form runs out. They have the buybacks, but they don't really kill anyone important here. There's going to be Ekos going down, move forward to 1457. The Ice Buff coming up. Gabby goes out the stomp, though. And now, in return, it's stunned up by the Nix. The double stop with the Impale. They're going to lose the Dragonite. The GG gets called. They've had enough. Where's the Rap Face? There it is. Gabby striking the entirety of TNT down just before the game is over. Tigers. Damn it, Tigers. I'm getting too excited. Uh, power spikes. Yeah, it's also the case that on top of that, the way refraction oh, works. Probably Lena. Okay. Is Lena a little okay. bit troubled? Oh, bot lane. Yes, she is. Cuckoo. Looks Cuckoo's like he's going to be the first blood. The farm No. Very far out. She needs one more touch. He'll be able to find her. The big tree into the face of the Lena. She will fall. There's your first blood. He, he gets the tree grab off cooldown just in the right time yeah. to take. But you can't do that because the TA is dominating on her own, even without the draw. TA they're going in. The Searing Chains. They get rid of the refraction quickly. Needs to move away. This doesn't have the melt available. The Sprout to hold him in place. He's going to melt down. So they can't find him. And in your dream, taking a lot of damage to the town. Needs to be careful. Armel could turn around on him in a second. No. Remnant forward. The drag back with the X is still going to be there from Tim. So they're plumbing in. The Laguna down. Moon Meander. It's going to stay alive, but Belly will take out. Cuckoo gets killed by the trees in return. They vengefully kill off the Slayer or their father. And it ends up being a two for three in the end. But well, I just let it fall. The pings are coming out though. Ninja Boogie knows about it. Spit down the wall. The Winner's Girl is going to be there. And now Spirit has no way out. There's going to be a torrent. Bow combo with the guts. He's gone. Yeah, at the same time. Uh, at the same time, Moon. Yeah, oh, bottom lane empty bot. Oh, he's, no, he pulled back and died. He came back in. They actually dropped the egg. Now turn around, trying to get the kill to TA to get down to half HP. The egg is gone in their full retreat. The damage is too big here. As he just being kited out, the cold embraces there. The tips of Wallow. And Moon, the buyback, which paid back, but for still, nothing. Yeah. He, he achieved nothing with it. Versus the, the tiny combo. So it's a nice pick up. There's also the case of when she gets to level 25, of course, with the 50% cooldown reduction, it means you don't actually care about that longer cooldown anymore. That's all. Um, you're gonna drow. So she's looking for the opportunity to move in. The X Torrent's gonna be in the back, but 1437 getting found first. The stick trying to keep him alive in summer, it won't be enough. Tim Blast has some room on the spot, needs to be careful. The bow's coming in. Oh, no. He just walks right into it. Big fight. He's gonna get buffed up. He's gonna turn around. The double kill coming up. Cuckoo already. The X Control is there, but no, you can't dodge out the torrent. The BKB Armel oh, no, moving forward, and you need to go to full retreat on this Emmersburg. Just using the Yule to ensure he can do so. But the back foot left behind. As she, he's getting no support from this. The Sprout to hold Armel in place. He might actually fall here. Yes, he goes down. The torrent connecting on the two. Mumia's gonna fall as well. They need to get back in the base in your dream. 
They might actually chase him. They still see him. The Frost Arrow's coming out slow. He's dead. The Sunbreak from Zephyr is gone. He's going to die as well. No. They wipe the side of Tigers. The buyback coming out, remember. But he but needs to be careful about this because the Drow is still standing strong. That's the only buyback they've got. They have no one else. Your Lich and your Tiny just died back. And you, your Raxes are just falling. You can't really fall. Oh, oh, the toss back in on MLT. They might be able to get him. The BKB comes out though, just in time. They'll turn around. The stun controls down. The Tiny's going to fall. No chance against this. On the other side, Gabby just tanking everything as they dive deeper and find the kill in 1437. In your dream, he's going to have to create a dream, a wish, a nightmare for the side of TNC if he wants to hold this base. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not certain he can do that. That's all right. Someone went back to deal with Moon. There we go. This is the turn they need. Oh, the Yule's coming out though. Ember's pretty deep here. The torrent control is dead. 90 seconds. GG gets called. Tigers. That one error, it looked like maybe with a leaner force back they could do something, but the jump fought by Ember too soon cost them the series. I mean, it was only the, it was only the Ember that could have went there, so... It, it, it's a hard position if you're an Ember, right? Uh, Arc Warden, he dishes out a lot of magical damage. And now he's level 5, he has that level 3 flux, he can catch that troll very easily. Oh, the Diamond the Tower here, Gabby, taking on a decent amount of damage. Our logic needs to move away, the flux is on him again. Now, White Mon, Diamond the Tower, the Leech Seed, giving him a bit of damage. The first blood gets drawn, Ninja Boogie gets onto the troll. And White Mon, he needs to get out of here now, he, he can't actually go for the kill on Gabby anymore. And the Shaker with Blink, and if they find him now... And speaking of that Shaker's Blink, the Smoke Duck moving forward. White Mon, they ping on to him, they'll put down a sentry, the Dust Reveal. It's gonna be used, all the fish to catch up, they need to be careful about our logic. We do have the Echo Slam, the Winning Skirt's gonna come out, the boat flying in already, uh-oh! They get across to the Echo Slam, they're gonna wait out, three heroes! Oh, they can God. stack even harder, no! A V-Leg trying to move away, but slow down, the Bunny Blocks gonna come out, the x back. he's gonna fall as well. There's no escape from this, and a beautiful reveal, but they do lose Arc Ward in the mid lane, as the rotation from the Dark Wither and the Tiny come out. Man. They have to, they have to make a move right now, smoked up. Base target does get revealed. Tim's blinks away, he's like, hell no. The fidget block off. Now they might turn around. Armel moving forward, has the boat available once more. The BKB coming out, troll trying to move in. Our logic. What can you do here? The winner's curse is there. The boat coming on the side as well. The terrorize out just in time. They get hit by the boat. No room. And they don't hit anyone with the terrorize. Let's use the overgrowth, but there's no one back this up. The side from the base. Looks like they get rid of the king. The echo coming out. Tim's controlling again. A lay down to half HP. Blaze needs to move away quicker. The man needs to be able to protect Tim's. He'll stay alive. The cold of race is gonna keep him up. Face might not be so lucky. He chases on him, but he will get away. It has a gem on it. On the side, White Mon Wayne does have the overgrowth bail. Well, this will be the perfect moment, but his team isn't ready. They Still got to wait 10 fight. seconds for Willow. They have to take a fight here. They can't lose the final rack. There he is going to move in now on the back foot. Look, Troll going inside. Stop though. Ninja Book is still alive. The win is cursed. It's coming in. The boat's going to be there as well to control them up. And Armo, he's ready to reset this. There's Blender Blast coming through. Face Hugger just has to toss him away, but it's too late. He's dead. White Mon with the overgrowth doesn't connect on Aaron. Armo moving forward to the BKB. He's going to extra on back. And it looks like Train's going to go down. The buyback from Tiny's not going to achieve enough. Here, the Lucha Mini Echo. It comes in. The Terrorize. It gets interrupted again. Tim's. Oh, God, here. He's going to get rid of the Willow now. Just tagging this up. It's too late. Face Hugger will get one kill, but the GG comes out game one tnc take it and the power of this earth shaker conclusive through and through out the it's not easy it's still a huskar game we all hate last week huskars but the new brood of our time. Yeah. They might actually try for a kill on the FK. Oh, the arrow. There we go. The Fidger. And whoopsie daisy. Zeus's greed instantly going to be punished as he's the first blood. And, and, and. There we go. There we go. You know what I like there the most is uh, Cuckoo first threw the arrow and then they used the yeah. Fidger. Because you, so. like, you, you want to get the max value. Otherwise, there's always a risk he walks it off. But if you waste that one chrono mid lane. Invis, Shaker, jump Echo. in, Echo on a two! Faces Void gone, Lino as well! Huge pickoffs, and I was about to highlight the fact that well, Void, he did actually buy out part of the components, but I was about to say, this, this net worth this building is substantial. 4k on top of the fact that the items are not coming out right now for Evos, and actually, Silence is dead! You could just dove it. The Chrono is still 30 seconds on cooldown, and he yeah, can see definitely have that written down, so because of that, they're going up on. Um, they will damage the arrow with the Fissure, no! They do interrupt the life drain, and Ninja Boogie, that's just a support! Lean is dead! The Echo coming out, the good control, they're gonna get killed the Tiny as well! And they still don't have the Chrono available! This is damning, how do you get them out of the base? Even with the Chrono now, you don't have the follow-up damage! 
man. Tim's such a fissure. I mean, the arrow follow-up was easy because Tim's fissure, that fissure just controlled Lina and she has no buyback now. So you have 60 seconds without uh, either Lina or Tiny. And how do you stop this? You don't. You just let, you just let it fall. I'm starting to think Tim's gonna... Oh no, again, the fish in the arrow faces point. He's dead. He, he's... Now they'll chase. They're not done yet. They want the entire team. Blake is gonna do, go down, but White Mom will stay alive. They are hanging by a Freddy. Maybe they'll have one building left in their base, but this is melt mode time. It's, it's, it's not about... You look at the tiny. Sure, you can do a little bit. The Zeus? Hey, yeah, I can give you thumbs up on that. And the Lena as well. But these aren't... It's not that you've got one here. It's not that you've got a Tinker who can hold this all while you go looking for kills. And the TNT, they're looking for a kill right now. This is the big one, iLogic. Gonna jump in straight away. The stun is gonna come out down to half HP. Time walk away. Let's use the Shadow Blade. The pings are coming out. They're gonna put down a sentry. They see him. The stun control, he's dead. And GG instantly. That one kill is like, no, that's done. We're out of this. I was watching the same kill happening on the other side of the map. In which sentry was also placed, killing that tiny. And they killed the void as well.